What's your favorite scary movie? Um, this one. Ah! Hey, welcome to my toy corner. Today I am featuring the ultimate ghost face action figure from NECA Real Toys. This is, of course, based on the movie franchise. Uh, let's take a peek through the window real quick. I'm super excited for this guy. Awesome detail. I've seen some pics on Instagram of him. Uh, just can't say enough good things about this figure. Always with the NECA and definitely for this one. Three variant heads. The voice changer looks like a couple of hands, a scythe, and then some bloody knives, of course, because, you know, you got to have those for this guy. All right, let's get him open. All right, take right, him out. So you got a couple of, looks like the classic kitchen knife with some blood stains, a couple of like Bowie hunting knives there. A couple of alternative hands. You got both grip. You can see the circle through the one here right there that I'm highlighting. That is going to probably hold the scythe would be my guess. And then, of course, the other ones my, uh, would be the knives and then that open hand on his left. Um, looks like just kind of a, an action pose, I suppose. A lot of detail on those extra heads. Can't wait to get those on and take a look. The side, I am really impressed. Look at the wood grain in that side. That is super, super detailed. A lot of good washing paint detail. Even the sculpt on it, I can feel the ridges on there. So, um, again, I like er, uh, I like the cloth coat cape. All right, out of the box. A couple negatives to note here. I'm just going to mention real quick. This hand, when you do change the hands off, the robe comes out excuse me the robe tightens up so it's it's latched on there you can't get that robe down across or underneath the wrist or behind it so you're basically kind of a guessing game putting it back in um you just kind of feel for it or listen for the pop or whatever but the head comes off pretty good the hood does seat nicely on the head i do appreciate that a nice detail although there is great detail in the boots and the pants that is all you get as far as the body goes I can't get to the um, arms, of course, because like I said, those wrists around the robe is super tight, but this is just a generic like figure, but it doesn't lose any posability. He's still got the ab crunch right there. Go left and right. He does not have the waist joint, uh, but you got a lot of posability with the head and that head is classic. So you can't beat the head. I do like the frillies. I'll call those out. I don't know why. I always thought that was pretty funny take a look at the size this is again this is probably one of my favorite pieces here this is incredible detail there's him you get that second set of hands I'll show you real quick that you get with them there's those extra hands a couple of extra knives Again, lots of detail there. Then there's the other knife, the other classic one. <laughs> and the voice changer. That's pretty much him in a nutshell. Uh, I'm gonna show you that glow in the dark head. That is really awesome. I probably will leave that one on. Um, I'll take one quick peek at these other two heads. I won't waste your time getting them out of here. But if you're curious, look at that aged weathering in that one. That is just super creepy. And then the bloodied stain on that one. So, uh, again, great, great job on the heads. And they're easy to pop off and on. They're just a single ball joint pin. So. And there's that glow-in-the-dark head. Pretty nice. Very nice. And bright, too. That thing is bright. And thanks for watching.